Hi mga Kamilas! Kamusta kayo? Kung ikaw ay bago pa lamang sa akin channel, huwag mong kalimutan i-like at subscribe ang Milas Math Channel at i-click ang notification bell para sa ganun ikaw ay laging updated sa aking mga bagong upload na video. Kasi hindi ka magsisisi na i-subscribe mo ang channel na ito. Sisiguraduhin ko na may matutunan ka dito sa video na ito at ito ay maganda para sa mga batang nag-aaral dahil itong channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorial. Ngayon, bago tayo magsimula, tanungin mo na kita. Nasubscribe mo na ba? Kung oo, simula na natin. Our topic is about ratio and proportion. So, what is a ratio? A ratio is a comparison of two numbers usually expressed as a quotient. It may be written in different forms. As you can see, meron kayo makita dyan na letter and then meron ding number. So, yan po yung example kung paano natin isusulat yung ratio. Next is... What is a proportion? A proportion is an equation with a ratio on each side. It is a statement that two ratios are equal. So, um, proportion can be written in two ways. Okay? So, makikita nyo dyan, meron pa rin natin gawin uh, a fraction. So, A over B is equals to C over D. And then, using a colon, A is to B is equals to C is to D. Okay? So, ito yun. Ito yung using a colon, tapos ito naman yung uh, fraction. So, mamaya, magbibigay ako ng problem and then sasagutan natin. Okay? Okay, example of ratio. Uh, Joy has a bag with 3 video cassettes and 13 marbles and 9 books. The question number 1, what is the ratio of books to marbles. Okay. So, books to marbles. Ilan daw po yung books at yung marbles? So, paano ulit natin isusulat yung ratio? Pwede natin gawing fraction, pwede rin natin gawing um, colon. Okay. So, the question is, what is the ratio of books to marbles? Yung books natin, meron tayong 9. So, therefore, 9 over marbles is 13. So, it, ganito po yung pagkasulat ng ratio kapag fraction. Kapag colon naman, uh, 9 is to 13. Okay, ganun lang po. Next. Question number 2. What is the ratio of video cassettes to the total number of items in the bag? So, ang tanong, so, di ba meron tayong 3 video cassettes? Okay, so yung total number of items, so ang gagawin natin, ipag-add natin yung lahat ng items. So, 3 plus 13 plus 9. The total is 25. So, therefore, the ratio is 3 is to 25 or 3 over 25. Magbibigay ulit ako ng uh, next problem tapos kayo na yung magsagot. Okay? Kumuha kayo ng papel at ball pen and then sagutan nyo yung next problem. Pagkatapos yung sagutan, syempre, iti-check din natin. Yung sagutan yan. Problem number 2, the ratio of males to females in a company is 300 to 500. The question is, write this ratio in reduced fraction form.
Okay, tapos na ba? Okay, so, sagutan natin. Again, the ratio of males to females in a company is 300 to 500. So, write this ratio in reduced form. Fraction four. Okay, so, 300 over 500. Sabi, kailangan daw natin siyang i -re So, ano ba daw yung number na pwede natin iti-divide sa 300 and 500? So, ang pwede dito ay 50. Okay? So, 300 divide natin kay 50. The answer is 6 over 500 divide 50, 6 over 10. Now, si 6 over 10, pwede pa natin siyang it divide by 2. So, 6 divide 2 equals 3. 10 divide 2 equals 2, 5. So, therefore, the answer is 3 fifth or 3 is 2 fifth. Yan po yung ratio. Okay, next proportion. Example, example problem number 1. The ratio of red marbles to yellow marbles is 5 is to 3. If there are 75 yellow marbles, how many red marbles are required? So, ano po ang sagot? Okay, ganito. A is to B is equals to C is to D. Okay? So, sabi, the ratio of red marbles. Red marbles to yellow marbles. So, therefore, 5 is to 3. 5 is to 3 is equals to If there are 75 yellow marbles, how many red marbles? So, ang pinahanap dyan, yung kulay red. So, di ba nauna si red? So, therefore, CC, X yan. It is equals to Yung yellow marbles niya is 75. Ganyan. Naintindihan? So, ngayon, paano natin siya isusolve? Ito lang yan. 5, i-multiply natin kay 75. So, 5 times 75 is equals to 5 times 75 is equals to 375. Equals to 3 times x or 3x. So, si 375, i-divide natin kay 3, divide by 3. Okay? So, 3, divide 3 is, wala na yan. So, x na lang matikira. So, 375, divide natin kay 3, the answer is 125. Yan na po yung sagot. Ibig sabihin, yung red mar marbles natin is 125. Naintindihan? Ulitin ko ha. The ratio of red marbles to yellow marbles is 5 is to 3. So, if there are 75 yellow marbles, how many red marbles are there? So, dahil proportion yan, so dapat equal sila, okay? Yung red natin is 5, yung yellow marble is 3. 5 is to 3 equals to, x is equal to 75. Kasi hindi natin alam yung red marbles, kaya x yung nilagay natin. So, 5, ita times natin kay 75 is 375. Next, is 3 times x equals to 3x. So, therefore, 375, i-divide natin kay 3. The answer is 125. Okay? Para masigurado natin na equal yung ano, yung sagot or proportion yung ano, isold natin. Okay? Iti-check natin kung tama. Okay. Chinect na natin kung talagang proportion ba yung sagot or tama, okay? So, di ba yung x natin kanina is 125? So, ngayon, chinect ko kung talagang tama yung sagot natin, okay? Di ba 5 is to 3 is equals to x is to 75? Di ba nakuha natin yung x kanina? 
na 125. So, sinagtitute lang natin. So, 5 times 75. Ayan. Nakikita nyo. 5 times 75 equals 3 times 125. The total is 5 times 75 is equals to 375. And then, 3 times 125, 375. So, therefore, that is correct. Kasi proportion. Okay? So, next, magbibigay ako ng another problem. Number 2, kayo yung mag-try mag-support. Okay? In problem number 2, Anna used two eggs to make 20 pancakes. How many eggs are needed to make 100 pancakes? Naintindihan niyo ba yung tanong? Ang sabi, si Anna daw ay gumamit ng dalawang itlog at ito ay nakagawa siya ng 20 perasong pancake. Now, may tanong, kung halimbawa 100 pancakes yung nagawa niya, ilan daw itlog nakakailanganin? So, let x be the number of x needed. So, sagutan nyo yan. Dapat tama yung sagot nyo dyan, ha? Pagkatapos yung sagutan, syempre, sasagutan natin. Kahit saan doon sa dalawa ang gagamitin mo, yung fraction form ba? Or yung colon form? Kung saan ka comfortable. So, ngayon, okay, siguro tapos na kayo. So, sagutan na natin. Ang kagamitin ko na, ano, yung fraction form. Kasi kanina, colon form yon So, ngayon, fraction form naman. Yung fraction po, form, iba ganito yon A over B is equals to C over D. Okay? So, ganito po yan. 2 over 20 is equals to x over 100. Ayan po. Okay. Si 2x. 2x yan. Then 20 pancakes. And then si x, siya yung hindi natin alam yung number of x na kailanganin. Then si 100, then yung pancakes. Diba? Ito si 20 pancakes, then ito yung 100 pancakes. So, ang tanong, paano natin siya isusolve? Si cross lang natin. So, 2 times 100, anong sagot? The answer is 200. Diba? Si 20 times x equals to 20x. Okay? Now, i-divide natin yan both side by 20. 20 by 20, cancel. So, 200, uh, x na lang matitira. Okay? So, 200 divided by 20, the answer is 10. So, meaning, 10 eggs are needed to make 100 pancakes. So, ibig sabihin pala, makagawa na tayo ng pancake ng 100 piraso, nakakailanganin natin ng 10 piraso x. 10 eggs. Ganun lang po. Pag-solve. Okay. Tama ba yung sagot nyo? Okay. So, ngayon, iti-check natin kung talagang proportion ba siya. Baka may mali tayo, di ba? So, para masigurado natin, i-check natin lagi. Okay? Okay. Check natin. 2 over 20 is equals to x over 100. X is equals to 10. Ba sana dito nakuha. Yung 10, yan yung eggs na kakailanganin natin para makabuo tayo ng 100 pancakes. So, i-check natin kung talagang proportion. Okay? So, 2 ita times natin kay 10. The answer is 200 over 20 ita times natin kay x. Ano yung x natin? Di ba? 10. So, 20 times 10 equals 200. Parehas ba sila? So, therefore, that is proportion. Ayan. Naintindihan? Okay.
Okay, so ganun lang po pag-solve ng ratio and proportion. Napakadali lang. Sana, sana may natutunan kayo sa topic natin ngayon. Hi mga Kamilas! Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like and share, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any time I upload a new video. See you for the next video. Bye!